the Prophet would brush his teeth so that when he goes and meets his wife, the most beloved woman to him, the most beloved person to him, right? The Prophet ﷺ would greet her, her in the best of manners and then jokes and laughter would begin. And the day that there would be no jokes and laughter, Aisha would right away know something wrong has happened in the life of Rasulullah. Otherwise, normally, right? Normally there's a laughter. And for us, the day the laughter occurs, our wives may know that that is the day there's something wrong happening. Yeah? Don't make yourself that person who, who, you know, barely ever laughs to his family. Laugh and joke, even if you don't, you know, dignity, leave it outside the door. Play with the children. You make some giggly noises, it's not going to take from your stature. The children will remember that they knew a playful father. They will remember that they knew a father who would joke around with them as if they were, uh, the father was his friend. And the women, same idea. Of course the women already do it, we have to tell them to stop a little bit, yeah? <laughs> no, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Yeah, so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was this man that would walk into the house and the, the atmosphere of the house would change.